guys, welcome back. In this video, a lot of you guys requested on Instagram to cover this thing called drawing electrical circuits. No, redrawing electrical circuits, which is A-level physics, correct? And a lot of MCQ questions, as well as structure, section B questions, tend to ask how do we draw electrical circuits. And a lot of people are struggling. So in this video, you're going to look forward to three-step approach, as well as two interesting examples to help you think about this thing, okay? So let's get right in. First, let's visualize the circuit, right? The circuit is a fundamental thing. Let's have a battery, a 6 volt battery, that's connected to a resistor, okay? This one, to another resistor, here, to another resistor. I don't care about the shape, doesn't matter. Here, to another resistor, this one, Going all the way back, this one, another resistor. Looks really complicated enough, isn't it? Nope. Because you have this weird Bermuda triangle kind of thing right here. Nope. How do you answer this? Everything here is one ohm, okay? The question is, what is the equilibrium resistance between these two points? Which is something, or they can ask you about what is the current. Either, either case, you need to know what is the equivalent resistance across this circuit. So the first step, I will give you guys to draw this somehow complicated circuit is to label points okay so what do I mean by labeling points okay basically you label like those intersections and where the wires meet as points okay so we label from the positive terminal why is it from the positive terminal because how it flows conventionally from the positive to the negative terminal. So as we take a finger and we trace, right? Take a finger, a pretty bad drawing. Take a finger and actually trace and be like, okay, this is one point to label this as A, okay? Then here it goes to B. Sure, right? We can label this point as C, label this point as D. But another point I wanted to mention is if points are connected by the same wire, right, then these two points have the same potential. Now why is this so? Basically, right, when you have two pieces of wire, okay, there's no resistor in between them. There's no like V like consumed, okay? I know this is not a physical way to say it. Like there's nothing that's taking away the wire's energy, okay? So it has the same potential. And when it has the same potential, what you must do is label with same letter, okay? So you can label points using letters or numbers, whichever helps you. So we label this as not C, but a. Alright? So this circuit, right, you can just like shift this right here because it doesn't make a difference, okay? And what I will do, guys, please do not be afraid that you'll be wrong. There is no like, oh, no. you shouldn't have any oh, fear no. of labeling it wrong. Even if you get this wrong, eventually when you're solving the question, right, you will get it correct, okay? So just follow along these steps and you'll get it great. Now, point number two. What is point number two? After you label points, right, what do you do? Draw all the points, right? Look at this. Draw all the points from the highest. So, right? Let's look at this. Point A is like very close to the positive terminal, okay? So, the current flows this way, correct? So, this A has the highest potential. So, you draw the point A first. Now, following A, we go into like that. B. This, th this thing is the same. You go to B, right? So it could be like this. C, which is corrected to the negative terminal. So it has the same potential as the negative terminal, which is like close to like zero or like the, all the energy has been lost. So C is right at the end. So it's from left to right. Okay. Now the third step, right, is look at direct connections. The keyword is direct. And you draw it out. So this is like the most action-packed part and probably the most 
color part. Oh, but no. I'll be guiding you through with these two examples. By the way, this is the first one. So, A, right? B, C, correct? First, we look at number one, A to B. A to B. Where does it, how does it go from A to B? A, B. Direct, correct? Direct. A to B. There's no like C in between. It's not like going this way. We look at directly from A to B. There's a 1 ohm resistor. Let's draw a 1 ohm resistor. There's another one also. A to B. So these two things are parallel branches. Do you guys notice? A to B, A to B. There are two paths that the, wire, the current can take. Now, number two, look at B to C. There's only one path. This is B, this is C. One path, correct? So you just draw one resistor. Then, what else? There is A to C. So A to C, how does it go directly? Not this way. There's no such thing as this way. Looking at direct connections. Like this. Why is it not this way? Because we have accounted for it. A to B, B to C. So look at only A to C directly. That will be one more part. So we'll connect this. Like that. Okay? And that's it. Now we just complete the circuit. A 1 ohm. This goes back to battery. This is the negative. This is the positive. And you've drawn the equivalent circuit. You guys can calculate this resistance out. This is 1 ohm, 1 ohm. So this is 0 0.5. This is 1, so this entire thing is 1.5. This is 1. So you probably take a week. Press this week. How much? How much? How much? This part 1 over. You would put 2 over. How much? How much? How much? Plus, this is right. Can you 1.6 ohms. Do pardon me if the mental calculation is wrong, but I'm just showing you this is the way. So let's try applying this to a newer example, okay? But this thing, there's a small twist at the end, which I'll tell you. This time, there's a small tweak, which is one more resistor right here. This is also 1 ohm, okay? So, let's try applying what we learned. First thing is to label. So let's label, guys. From the positive terminal, we take our finger, trace it, go to this point, right? This is where it's like, oh, which way can I go? And then we label this as A, for sake of labeling. Now, let's go from here to here. It's another point, B. Okay? From here to here. It's another point, C. There's so many splits. Here, here, there's another point. And then back. Right? Four points, okay? So, let's erase everything. Once you're done with labeling points, what did I say? Put it from highest to lowest potential, which was my second point. High. No, e. so you arrange it like that. So A, okay, we'll put D at the end because it's connected to the negative, this to the positive. What else? A to B, okay, A to C. Hmm, which one is which? We don't know. Or order doesn't matter. I told you guys, you don't need to be scared. If you're confused, just draw it out whichever you perceive is from high to low potential. So so for the sake of chronological order, we'll just put um, B, we'll put C and we put D. So this gets your framework, your blueprint ready. And let's draw the circuit, okay? The third step, which is draw. And draw the direct stuff, direct connections. A to B first, okay? A to B, there's only one connection. Now, A to B, B to C, there is one connection C to D is one connection only we're looking at direct connections again not like this or weird ways like this direct connections D is back let's look at other ones A to C there's one connection okay and make things so much more complicated we have this weird thing which confuses us we're like wow we have redrawn everything Okay, we'll add one ohm resistor. We have redrawn everything. And we seem to be very happy, but this still looks like it's more complicated than the first one. Oh no! And this is where I talk about the twist, right? 
this is where the twist occurs. Okay? Let's look at AC, current flowing from, okay, look at current flowing from A to C, as well as the current flowing from A to B. Okay? Now, both A to B and A to C, right, they go through one, one ohm resistor. Correct? One ohm resistor, one ohm resistor. So, same loss of V. Because this is a one ohm resistor, right? It would take away potential difference in the same cases from A to C and A to B. So if this point were at say like 5 volts for an arbitrary value, this point would be 4 volts. This one is 5 volts, this is 4 volts. So did I see B and C are of same potential. This is the key element which I touched on, which I want you guys to understand. Okay, there will be sudden twist when you redraw and you see there's something wrong, you missed out things like same potential, guys. Correct? Because these two are parallel branches, they have the same voltage running through them. But since they are just passing through the same one ohm resistor, they have the same potential. So What's, what's the catch? What's the catch? What you guys can do, right? You can just remove this entire thing. Because it go through. Just remove it. And we take it. We redraw it, okay? Let's redraw it. The resistor right here. Correct? We are going to move this one right here. Because it's the same, right? We'll just move it right here. We'll get one branch for this one and then another branch for this one, correct? So we have moved this here and they meet at this point, right? This thing and this thing meet at this point. So we'll just call it B. This we'll call this, uh, we'll call this point E for, for understanding purposes. This is E. And then it flows into one more and two branches to D. So you get this, this, and you're out of the game. That's it guys. So we're done. Three steps and some a bit of a twist to make you think. So during exams, I hope you guys can apply this strategy and not be afraid of drawing complicated and trying to understand complicated electrical diagrams. Just apply this strategy and we'll believe it will work for you and you will do well for your A-level physics exams, okay? So stay tuned for my next video to subscribe share with your friends because they may need help and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching